Okay, guys, I hope you're excited because we're going to divide a whole number by a fraction. Okay, if you're scared, don't worry. It's not that bad. So basically, if we have a whole number, it's not a fraction, right? That should be obvious. But I can turn any whole number into a fraction. I say that kind of funny because you're not actually turning it into a fraction. It, it is a fraction, okay? It's just over one, okay? Any number you have that doesn't look like a fraction you just put it over a one, okay? It's a very handy tool. So now we're just going to divide fractions like normal, okay? What do we do when we divide fractions? We take our first fraction, we flip our second fraction, we do the reciprocal, is that fancy word, and then instead of dividing, we multiply, okay? Now, if you don't believe me, if you think this is witchcraft, Watch this one, okay? I'm gonna prove it to you. Okay, so now when we multiply fractions, denominators don't have to be the same. That's why we really like multiplying fractions because they don't have to be the same, okay? You just multiply straight across, okay? Six times nine is 54. One times five is five. Guess what? That's my answer. Do check if it can simplify. This cannot simplify. That's as simplified as it gets. Unless, let me take that back. If your teacher wants it as a um, mixed number. Okay. If they want it as a mixed number, five goes into 54, 10 times. And then you have four left over. If you're like, what the heck did she just do? I'll link a video <laughs> showing from improper fraction to a mixed number. Okay. So depending on what your teacher wants the answer to look like, those could both be the answer, okay? Not too bad, right? Okay, if you're like, I don't believe this internet math lady, let's look here, okay? I'm gonna prove it to you. So we are doing eight divided by one half. What this means, if you were to say it in like not math words, is how many, sorry, I just got like some nice little spots there. That's nice. How many halves are in eight, okay? We're not asking what half of eight is. That would be times. We're asking how many halves are in eight, okay? So basically, if you had eight cookies, how many half cookies could you give to people? Did that make sense? Da -da -da. Should I draw a picture? Okay, so I have eight cookies. Everybody gets half a cookie. You following? So if everybody gets half a cookie, how many halves are there? There's 16 halves, right? Now let's... Let's do what we did up here and make sure we get 16, okay? I can turn this into a fraction by putting it over one, okay? Then we do eight over one. You could probably do this in your head, but I'm gonna draw it out for fun. We flip this one times, okay? Go across, eight times two is 16. One times one is one, which just simplifies down to 16. What? Okay, I hope that made sense. Um, check out some other videos if you need to. I'll link them here and hopefully you get your math homework done and go to bed and have dreams of math that aren't nightmares.